Hey everyone, I wanted to emphasize something I said in one of my outdoor videos the other day. It, it was a little hard to hear, but I think this is actually a great tip. Um, so this is really for the photographers out there, um, and to some extent, who anyone who carries a camera <clears throat> that has uh, multiple memory cards with them. I carry uh, or utilize compact flash cards with my cameras mainly. Uh, you tend to go through these a lot. You can uh, typically you need to have quick access to them and they're so small you don't want to lose them in your backpack or bag or anything either. So you know you can you can put them in your your, your backpack um, but what I found is that if you have them loose in, in a bag right you can uh, get dirt inside of them and uh, especially with these CF cards the back of them where the pins meet up like that any little bits of sand gravel dirt that may have accumulated in your backpack can go right in there and uh, you may not know about it it's and then you take and put it inside your your camera. I have a can in here. So you have a little hinge car, card goes right in here like this. And it gets to a certain point where it's in but you have to do a little push. And that kind of snaps it in. It's where those pins are meeting up with the, the card. So um, you get dirt in these holes again you're not only damaging your card but you are damaging your camera itself so the tip is to store these cards in some kind of container that is uh, easily accessible I like it clear uh, so I can know which card I'm grabbing uh, and it keeps it relatively you know, sand and dirt free. So I just use a plastic bag so I can see what I'm grabbing. Put this within a bag or backpack when you're out hiking or doing a shoot and uh, this is the best way to go. I mean I learned the hard way on this one. I destroyed a uh, compact flash card and I destroyed the camera. I crunched uh, the pins in here. Basically I was down uh, I couldn't shoot anymore that day at all. The camera stopped working, error codes. I had to send it back in, get it fixed. Did get it fixed, no problems. But what a hassle, right? I mean, I was two, two to three weeks down without a camera. So, hope that's helpful.